we have got to leave. We're tight for time. Until next week, from Wide World of Sports, goodbye. And you see the world. Best in local and international sport in 1996. <laughs> Wide world of sports. Still the world. This program proudly brought to you by Optus Vision. Sunday, a woman's passage through the turbulence of time. You are now the mistress of this house. One of the finest casts ever assembled in a history-making premiere. Now I remember who you are. Oldest living Confederate widow. For a big party or a fun gathering, the new New Orleans has the taste, the team and the entertainment to make your celebration a legend. More than a restaurant. Hi, I'm Tonya Todman. When Janome have a stock take clearance, they really do have a clearance. I've never seen so many machines, and the prices, like this MyStyle 16 for only $399. It has loads of features. You won't believe how creative you can be, so save yourself a fortune and start sewing with a Janome. But hurry, at these prices, they won't last. It's so easy with Janome. The Janome MyStyle 16, on sale now for just $399. Fantastic news from Telstra. Introducing Telstra Smart Saver Flexi Plan. Save 15%. If you spend $15 or more per month on STD and 0011 international calls, I can save 15% when I call anyone in Australia. Anywhere in the world? Anyone, anywhere, anytime. No fees. This plan is definitely for me. Smart Saver. Another great reason to be with Telstra. To save, phone 1 800 052 052 and join now. <laughs> Beautifully crafted solid timber at Super Amart pay only $5.99 and that's not just for the table but includes the six chairs plus no deposit six months interest free. Super Amart, great furniture at even better prices. I am right with paranoia. This is the extraordinary voice of KD Lang. You're Eat, the new album with your okay, sexuality, and the hit If I Were You. I could do anything if I were you. Surrender yourself to the magic of KD Lang, the new album, All You Can Eat. Business owners, are you thinking of selling your business? Confidential Business Sales maintains a register of waiting buyers. Your business can be sold discreetly, without any advertising. Phone 013 for the number of Confidential Business Sales. A pair of unlikely companions. Why do I let you talk me into these things? Along with their furry friends. Uncle Bob! Oh, no. no hugging, no meeting. We love you, Uncle Bob! are raving the elements. We can get that medicine through. Testing their courage. I was so scared. I got uh, equal bumps. And becoming friends. I'm glad you came. Forever. Who else should you bring on the wild goose chase but the goose, hmm? Balto. For a big party or a fun gathering, the new New Orleans has the taste, the team, and the entertainment to make your celebration a legend. Ch -ch -ch more than a restaurant. At 6.30, the laughs begin with Hey Hey It's Saturday. Then at 8.30, join Bill Murray and John Candy for the military riot, Stripes. Mike London and Samantha Coon. This is National Nine News. The country's largest pro-gun rally, thousands march in Sydney. The army calls in expert counsellors to deal with the Black Hawk tragedy. Greg Norman makes his move at the US Open.
Good evening. Good evening. Tens of thousands of gun lobbyists have rallied through the streets of Sydney. It's the most visible sign yet that Prime Minister Howard has a fight on his hands over the government's tough new gun laws. The shooters also raised more than $100,000 for their pro-gun fighting fund. Once again, it was one of the biggest demonstrations since the days of the massive protests over the war in Vietnam. They came from all over the eastern seaboard and beyond. An estimated 80,000 shooters marching peacefully through the streets of Sydney. Outraged at the inference that they were in some way to blame for the dreadful tragedy at Port Arthur, they paraded their pacifism and their patriotism. We are not violent, we're Australians. Prime Minister Howard was also in Sydney today. He may not have seen the march, but he's very well aware of its potential political impact, especially on his National Party colleagues. Even so, he says there'll be no backing away from the gun control agenda. I have not changed my views. I will not be changing my views on gun uh, prohibitions. Tomorrow, Mr Howard travels to sale in Victoria, the first of his face-to-face -face meetings to sell the gun control laws. Tens of thousands of people are expected to attend and security officers are already edgy about the reception awaiting him. Mr Howard will get a warm welcome in sale. An extremely warm welcome in sale. Peter Harvey, Canberra. There was also a large pro-gun rally in Cairns today. An angry crowd booed the sole speaker in favour of tougher gun laws. More than 500 gun supporters rallied against the proposed new laws. The views of local Liberal MP Warren Inch weren't popular as he spelt out the case for tougher laws. As the crowd became angrier, protest organisers had to intervene. Listen, when he's had his say, you can have a say. Let's, let's hear what they've got to say and then we can pull it to pieces, eh? Vocal gun supporter, right. National MP Bob Catter was more welcome. Claiming he has the support of a large number of Queenslanders, he's pushing the use of guns for self-protection. But I think it is the absolute height of intoleration when they say to me that my right to protect my wives and my kid and my home is going to be removed by them. Gun owners believe they won't be adequately compensated if they have to hand in their weapons. Many say they won't. Well, if you look at the scorecard of governments, and their success in protecting us over the last six years, I mean, you wouldn't hand them over your Shanghai, would you? Rebecca Jensen, National 9 News. Gold Coast police are hunting a man who threatened a currency exchange teller with a knife in broad daylight. The man approached the woman as she opened the exchange branch at around nine this morning. The robber forced her into a back room and tied her up before escaping with a large sum of money. She's uh, very shocked and uh, she was uh, restrained with some rope uh, by, the, uh, by the bandit. The robbery in Cabell Mall was just metres from a police shop front. The military has placed a collective arm around relatives of the Black Hawk victims as special counsellors try to ease the pain. Families are now in private mourning ahead of two more special services next week. With the public grieving over, at least for now, the Army's extended family is extending its arms around the families whose sons, husbands and fathers will never return, especially the children. Extra counsellors brought in for the young. There is special provision and counselling provided for the children, uh, which uh, has begun and will continue. For some, like the son of Perth's Brett Toms, an innocent realisation of Wednesday's tragedy. His first words when he heard is, Daddy won't be there to take me to karate. As much as anywhere Perth is feeling the pain, 15 SAS members lost doing what they loved and in a way they always understood was possible. Survivors, relatives and colleagues attended a private wake last night, consoled in some small way that only four victims remain in hospital. Two are serious and two are satisfactory. The Army, meantime, has released photos of the three Queenslanders killed. They were Captain John Berrigan of Annandale, Captain Kelvin Hales of Belgian Gardens and Corporal Michael Baker of Goodna. There'll be more services and more goodbyes next week. Canberra on Monday and Perth on Tuesday. In Townsville Lane, Kelcutt, National 9 News. 
A 35-year-old man has died at his home in Adelaide trying to break up two Japanese fighting dogs. A successful breeder, the man apparently bled to death when one of the dogs mauled his arm, severing an artery. The victim's family is now fighting to stop the animals from being destroyed. From past experience, I believe that the incident occurred because of a skirmish between two bitches who have recently had pups. I do not consider that this was an attack. The attack happened on Wednesday, but the man's body wasn't found until late yesterday. It's election eve in Russia. 150 million people facing a stark choice between capitalism and communism. President Yeltsin remains the frontrunner, but his position is far from secure because many have suffered under Russia's free market revolution. Last stop for the Yeltsin campaign, his home city in the Urals. A large crowd turning out, as much for the concert as the local boy made good. Looking strong and confident, he called on Russians to unite behind him. But Kremlin officials are not so positive the people will back him for another term. President Yeltsin is confident of victory. Uh, but others are much less confident than he is. Thanks God he is, by the way, confident, because otherwise uh, would, uh, the situation would, would have been much worse. There are ten candidates, including former President Mikhail Gorbachev, but only two real contenders. Yeltsin, with a job to survive, and communist Gennady Zhuganov, wanting to turn back the clock. The eccentric ultra-nationalist Vladimir Zhirinovsky thinks they're all a worry and says he's not. It's very dangerous for us, Yeltsin and Zhuganov. Why is it dangerous? Why is it dangerous? Because it's not no stability. If Yeltsin or Zhuganov, if we, stability, a new economy, a new democracy, and... This from the man best known for his brawling and outrageous right-wing policies, but who could prove to be the kingmaker in this election. In this two-horse race, the also-rans have no real chance and little influence, unless the elections are inconclusive and are forced to a second round. If that's the case, candidates like Zhirinovsky will be urging his supporters to vote for change. In other words, to vote for the communists under Zhuganov. Jim Whaley, National 9 News, Moscow. In the news ahead, preventing breast cancer before birth. And Greenpeace protesters clash with whale hunters. Saturday night at the movies, the ride of your life. That's the fact! Bill Murray. You got something in a low-rise bikini? And Harold Ramis. Who's in the all-time comedy favourites. Isn't what you think. Stripes, 8.30 tonight on 9. Festival is coming with dozens of events, including violin master Pinker Zuckerman in concert, a stage version of Brisbane's best love memoir, Over the Top with Jim, Sydney Dance Company's new work, Free Radicals, and Australia's biggest ever military tattoo featuring Britain's Grenadier Guards. Look for your free Brisbane Festival guide in this weekend's Courier Mail. To succeed today, you need a vision. I said you need the best technology. Precisely. To give you the best image. Precisely. You need an Epson, I said. Precisely. I mean, look at that. So realistic. You listening to me? Best technology, best image, so realistic. And you're about to say there's an Epson printer to suit everyone. And there's... Precisely. Epson. Good news for the state's film industry. More local productions are being shot here than ever before. A conference on the Sunshine Coast has been told Queensland is set to become the film capital of the country. 
Just like this scene, Queensland's locally bred film industry is booming. Three years ago, it was just 2% of the state's entire production. Last year, I think we accounted for a little over 30% of the dollar value of the production in the state. So you can see that's a meteoric rise in the space of one year. The turnaround has seen over $31 million of Australian production invested here. Well, it's growing, going up like a rocket. Currently, the focus of Queensland's movie making is still big budget imported projects, which continue to inject around $120 million a year into the state's economy. The Movie World Studios playing a large role in attracting them here. The other states don't have the large imported industry we've got, so we've got to hold on to that. We've got to build our own, own industry alongside it. That's the real opportunity. That opportunity is being presented on the Sunshine Coast with over 170 delegates taking part in a Film Queensland conference involving writers, producers, directors and technicians. It's aimed to further promote our homemade films. After such rapid growth over the past year and together with our offshore production, Queensland Film is confident this state will become Australia's film capital. People look to us now as um, a model about how a small country can do things and so I think it's, it's only up from here. Karen Cooper, National 9 News. For years we've heard cosmetic companies sing the praises of ageing creams, now scientists are joining in. An American study using more than 50 people of different ages has shown that many creams do actually work. They have lightened the, uh, the red blotches and the, uh, the dark blotches seem to have disappeared. But scientists are warning the vanity conscious not to get carried away. However, they're not going to make you look 20 when you're 40. A British surgeon says destroying human embryos is the best way to wipe out genetic breast cancer. Dr. Ian Fentiman says women with the defective genes should use in vitro fertilization so their unborn babies can be screened. A genetic tendency to breast cancer was first considered a possibility more than a hundred years ago, but only recently scientifically proven. Scientists are now working to create a commercially available test to identify the defective genes. We're talking about women who've had a mother or a sister who developed breast cancer at an early age, that is at the age of 40 or certainly no later than 50. It's believed less than 10% of women with breast cancer will have an inherited gene. But of those who do, there's more than an 80% risk of developing breast cancer. Dr. Fentiman argues that with such high risk, women should avoid passing on the gene by using IVF to screen embryos. We can find out whether the abnormality is present. If the abnormality is not present, then that can be implanted. But if the defect is present, Dr. Fentiman says embryo destruction is the only solution. Strategically, in the long term, if we want to get rid of this problem, we would have to, you know, we would have to deal with it in this kind of way. Queensland Right to Life is outraged with Dr. Fentiman's proposal, describing it as genetics gone mad. They advocate instead development of a medical method to destroy the gene. With a widely available genetic test still several years away, there's time for the ethical issues to be debated. Samantha Coombe, National 9 News. Whalers in northern Norway have scuffled with Greenpeace activists attempting to stop their annual hunt. Crew members hose down campaigners trying to board the vessel, even dumping one female Greenpeace member overboard. Three environmentalists were arrested and later released by police. Now to sport and bomber the Dragons end the Roosters winning streak. Mike, it also ended Saints run of outs, highlights coming up and the Bullets end a four match losing streak. Sunday. The cream of the crop. An American classic that spans over 100 years. From a boy sent to war. Yeah, right between the eyes. I just can't take this anymore. To his child bride. Absolutely. A passage through the turbulence of time. You have a mistress of this house, Miss Martin. One of the finest casts ever assembled in a history making premiere. Now I remember who you are. Oldest living Confederate widow on nine. Australia's biggest ever public share offer has now landed. It's an offer of shares in Australia's biggest retail bank. A bank with 6.5 million customers and over $1 billion in profits in 1995. A bank whose share price has almost doubled since the first share offer. We don't have to tell you which bank. The Commonwealth Bank. 
This is the biggest ever offer of Commonwealth Bank shares by the Australian Government. And you must obtain and read a copy of the offer document and complete the application form in the offer document to land them. Simply phone 133388 to reserve your copy. Share in something big. Marina. Calculate the savings during Holden's end of financial year clearance. A new Barina for just $12,990. Packed with features including six speaker sound system and driver and passenger airbag standard. All for just $12,990. That's right, just $12,990. It's the biggest deal in town. No matter how you calculate it, you won't do a better deal on any Barina in stock than right now during Holden's end of financial year clearance. Don't you miss out. Hi, Mum. I'm in the Rockies. I borrowed this uh, guy's phone just to let you know I'm fine. Yeah, this phone away card's great. I can call you from almost any phone, from heaps of countries around the world. Sorry, Mum. I'll talk to you soon. He wants to use his phone, yeah. Yeah, love you. Bye. All right, keep your hair on. To land a part of Australia's biggest ever public share offer, just phone 13 33 88 to reserve your copy of the offer document and share in something big. Tonight's sports report is proudly brought to you by your local Ford dealer. Good evening. Sydney City's 10-game unbeaten start to the rugby league season ended with a thud against St George at Cogra today. Saints scored three tries to one to upset the Premiership leaders, who were minus three origin stars. The depleted Roosters struggled from the outset, Dean Raper making a successful dart from dummy half. Oh, he's stolen that one! Another similar scoot by Anthony Mundine gave the Dragons a 12-point buffer. But the Roosters reduced the deficit to just six by half time when Nathan Wood scored. After the break, two further penalties saw Saints kick away again before Campion ended his side's five match losing streak and sent the Roosters crashing to their first defeat of 96. Campion has scored for the Dragons. Maybe it's all over. Last night at ANZ Stadium, an understrength Broncos gave Manly an early fright. While Brisbane's six Maroons enjoyed the good start, there was no panic from a Sea Eagles outfit boasting 11 internationals. All three of the visitors' tries came from kicks on a night when the bounce of the ball went their way. Lions has got support. Danny Moore. A hero for Queensland 12 months ago, but unwanted this year, Moore posted a double as Manly moved out to 12-4. The ball was touched by Brisbane. He's on his way for the line. And his second try. The Seagulls' margin was 18-4 at the break thanks to Terry Hill's lead-up and John Hopawati's finish. In the second half, sheer desperation twice denied the Brisbane Babies' tries. Wayne Bennett proud of his team's effort. I'm just pleased that we stood up and, and uh, we showed what we've got here and, and uh, it'll just give a, a lot of confidence to a lot of those guys and they'll be ready to play first grade uh, when the opportunity comes for them. In the only Channel 9 Cup match played today, Souths left brothers wondering what went wrong at Scott Park. And in QAFL, Morningside defeated Kedron Grange by 59 points. In AFL, the Brisbane Bears and Carlton will contest the competition lead in their sellout clash at the Gabba tonight. In games played today, Geelong beat Footscray, Hawthorne continued the Crows' woeful record in Melbourne, and Richmond beat St Kilda at the MCG. At Optus Oval, the Sydney Swans roared into Premiership contention with a 79-point thrashing of league leaders North Melbourne. North grabbed the first goal after eight minutes, but Shannon Grant's reply for the Swans was a sign of things to come. Curves it back. He's kept it. Sydney jumped their opponents in the second quarter. Paul Ruse celebrating his 300th game in style. The Swans turning a 16-point quarter-time deficit into a 16-point lead by half-time. Fantastic mark. The third quarter was one of the proud club's finest ever. A 10-goal blitz that stunned their opponents. Tony Lockett unstoppable with a five-goal term. Derek Kick had another imposing presence up front. North trailed by 56 points at the last change before Plugger's 10th completed an afternoon where Wayne Kerry lost his shirt and North much of the gloss off its premiership stocks. For the Swans fans, a season taking shape is the best in over a decade. Steve Haddon, National 9 News.
Greg Norman has hit back at the US Open and is just one shot off the lead heading into tonight's third round. American Payne Stewart is the man to catch. Norman 66 has him tied with South African Ernie Ells. Of the other Australians, Wayne Riley and Steve Elkington are four shots off the pace, while Ian Baker Finch finished a miserable 25 over. The Norman climb began with a birdie at the eighth, but at the next, the shark was far from impressed. Camera there, please. That's twice you got me. Norman clashed with the fan twice. However, the incident seemed to fire up the world's number one. His tee shot at the par 3 13th, giving him his third birdie of the day. Good result. The best was yet to come, though. Norman hitting the best shot of the Open. Sharks, Benny, back. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> the reception showed the support Norman has to break through in a major in America. In the hut. 140 yards, hit 143 yards, and just spun around back into the hole. So, uh, you know, that was one of the green light situations, one of the first real green light situations we have on this golf course. Steve Elkington has slowly put himself into contention, this approach typifying his even par round, while Craig Parry scrambled for a 76. Behind. Ernie Ells has continued his form over from victory in the Buick Classic. That's a beauty. Mm, another another chance for... Jack Nicklaus overcame a cracked driver Jack head driver. to make the weekend action. But fellow veteran Tom Weiskopf won't be around despite sinking a monster putt. Hold on. Look at here. Oh, yes! Masters champion Nick Feldo had a rare moment of glory in the dying stages of his day. Despite Payne Stewart losing his concentration to drop shots at 17 and 18, he remains the leader. Coverage from 2.30 tomorrow morning. Andrew Bensley, National 9 News. Luke Longley's dream of winning an NBA championship will have to wait at least one more game, with Seattle staging another fight back to win Game 5 of the finals. The Supersonics won at home by 11 points, but the Chicago Bulls still lead the best of seven series, three games to two. Seattle has shown its mettle on home court, making this final series anything but a bull run. In a seesawing clash, the Supersonics overcame Michael Jordan's game-high 26 points with Australia's Luke Longley, 11 points for the Bulls. Luke Longley with his first field goal. At the European Soccer Championship, Italy was put on the back foot after just four minutes when Pavel Nedved scored. But a classic counter-attack saw the Italians sweep up field and Enrico Chiesa threaded the needle. A great equaliser. A reckless challenge saw Luigi Apolloni sent off for a second yellow card and the Czechs took advantage of the extra man. Portugal put pay to Turkey's campaign. Fernando Couto's 66th minute strike, the only goal. The defender head over heels about his effort. Charles Christian, National 9 News. In NBL, the Brisbane Bullets broke a four-game losing streak with a win over Geelong at Boondal last night. Aided by a superb defensive display, the Bullets won by 112 to 76. It had been five weeks since the Bullets last tasted victory and their desperation was there for all to see last night. In what was a total team effort, American imports Mike Mitchell with 28 and Steve Woodbury with 24 led the scoring. That's nice work. Another highlight for Brisbane was the performance of guard Aaron Honeyman in both defence and attack. Brisbane. The fate of Geelong was virtually sealed with the Bullets leading by 29 points at three-quarter time. Brisbane turning on the tricks to eventually get home by 36 points. That's a nice little round the back pass to Mike Mitchell. How sweet was that? Sean Lawson, National 9 News. Racing was on a heavy track at Doombin today and bookies paid dearly for risking the Bruce McLaughlin trained Regal Centre in the QBBS Breeders' two-year-old classic. The consistent Colts started an easing 7-2 favourite and won by three and three-quarter lengths. But it's all Regal Centre with 100 metres to go. Jezebel and Crafty Guest running home in front of Booth, but Regal Centre's a mile in front, and Regal Centre's going to bolt in the final. Regal Centre won by three and a half lengths to Jezebel, third Crafty Guest, and then came Booth. In the Glen Logan Park Diamond Stud Stakes, Sydney Philly Amber started 11 to 8 favourite and gave her backers little cause for concern. But Amber's well clear. Futile's not going to pick up Amber and caned out with a whip by McDipman. Amber's too good. The good thing's home. Amber won from Futile. Third Queezass then faced the win. 
And there's no hope of me doing a head over heels for the racing results. Oh, well, <laughs> maybe next week. <laughs> a cold start to the weekend. Sam with the weather details next. And the granny who took on two burglars and won. Hang around for the hottest party in town with Frente, scared weird little guys. Eclipse plus the best laughs of your weekend next on Hey Hey It's Saturday. Looking for a new set of wheels? Make tracks to your Ford dealer's half-year clearance and save with end-of-financial-year deals on Festiva, Laser and Falcon. There's factory bonuses on all Mondeos and Econovans and massive run-out savings on Courier 4x2 and 4x4. Plus A1 used cars at bargain prices. The half-year clearance sale. Buy anywhere else and you've paid too much. See your Ford dealer now and save. Before he can join me as a dine food critic, young Percival must discover for himself the secret of dine petite gold. Could it be the ingredients? The finest, the freshest, the most succulent. Or is it the tantalizingly different recipes? Let's see, one small bite from each one. I said one. <clears throat> I think Percival's discovered the secret. Dine petite gold. There's no finer way to dine. Guess who's looking for salespeople to join Australia's fastest growing home loan company? A company that welcomes top sales professionals from any industry. Guess who's looking for 40 top salespeople right now to help us grow our business in Brisbane? Can you guess who it is? Rams. Not just a better home loan, a better home loan company to work for. Call 1800 626 383 for details. It's an inspiration by design. Introducing the all-new Taurus. Its integrated control panel puts everything at your fingertips. Its safety features include dual airbags. Solar glass filters most UV and infrared light and keeps you cooler. The all-new V6 Ford Taurus gear. Now it's your turn to be inspired. Monte, Origin Pride is on the line for Queensland. Time to come out fighting and show the cockroaches what spirit is all about. Because this isn't just war, this is Origin Game 3. 7.30 Monday, live and exclusive on 9. Felt a bit chilly today? Well, you weren't imagining things. Brisbane's top of 17, 4 degrees below normal. It's sitting on 16 at the moment. Clouds generated by an upper-level trough brought rain to the state's south and east. The high in southeastern Australia is directing the moist easterly winds into the state. The showers should clear tomorrow, but strong winds and rough seas will develop as a low establishes off our coast. Not a good day ahead for Sydney, showers increasing. Much better in North Queensland, though, all fine tomorrow. A few showers ahead for Bundaberg and Murrabra, though clearing during the day. More rain ahead in the southeast tonight and early tomorrow, clearing through the day. A strong wind warning for the bay, southeast to northeasterlies at 20 to 30 knots, tending west southwesterly tomorrow and moderating to 10 to 15 knots. Rain tonight and early tomorrow in Brisbane, heading for a top of 19 degrees. And it will be all clear by Monday. That's the weather for tonight, Mike. Pleased to hear that. Thanks, Sam. Thanks. As the old saying goes, you're never too old, and a couple of embarrassed British burglars can only agree. 99-year-old Flo Ward, who turns a century in August, surprised the less-than-dynamic duo in her hallway. Although Flo's partially sighted and can't walk without a stick, she threw one to the ground and punched him until he begged her to he stop. He his hands up and he shouted, Oh, don't hit me again, so I must have hurt him. His pride certainly was. The pair ran off empty-handed. Good one, Flo. That's our news to the moment. Until tomorrow, good night. Good night. Origin 3, our last chance to beat the Blues. Monday, Badge and Bomber are live from Suncorp Stadium with all the inside news on final preparations for the big game. Complete coverage from the Rugby League experts on National 9 News, Monday at 6. Oi! We've been waiting for you. Our beast here needs a jump start. You reckon your machine's up to it? A powerful Vienna V6. Ready when you are.
Give everything else on the road. The big V. He gave us a big V. The big V. Oh, what a failing! If you wanted to serve a full-flavoured but healthy bolognese, which meat would you use? Pork. Because according to recent research, pork is not only highly nutritious, but also very lean. Which is why there are 14 cuts of new-fashioned pork that get the tick of approval from the National Heart Foundation. Rewrite the recipe books with new-fashioned pork. It's lean and nutritious. This is too big to miss. For just a few more days, Toyota's big business buying power sale gives you the power to make big savings on new Toyotas with big factory bonuses on Corolla, big factory bonuses on Camry, big factory bonuses on Unbreakable Hilux and more. But stocks are selling fast, so we have to close the sale early on Friday, June 28. Don't miss your big chance to get big business buying power. See your local Toyota dealer. 8.30 Tuesday and Wednesday. Mm, you know, this imagining what's going on underneath there. Two revealing new specials trace the history. It's a job like any other job. Of our most private and public attire, next to nothing, nothing to hide. 8.30 Tuesday and Wednesday. One of the finest casts ever assembled in a history-making premiere. Now I remember who you are. Oldest living Confederate widow, Sunday, 8.30 on Channel 9. Hey, hey, it's Saturday. It's brought to you by McDonald's and Commonwealth Bank, Australia's leading home loan bank. From the studios of the Nine Network Australia, entertainment capital of the universe, and relay around the world, through Melbourne, Sydney, Canberra, Brisbane, Darwin, Perth, Papua New Guinea, Adelaide, and Hobart, and Darwin, welcome to another two hours of Earth Mayhem and Uncontrolled Chaos with Dags and the Game On. Hey, hey, it's Saturday. It is indeed a pleasure to be here. Are you liking being here? Yeah!